Fun fact, if this take turns out anything like the ones before that it didn't really work out, you will hear still quite a lot. But otherwise, I don't really think there's any other way to say it, but whatever Blitzworth is doing these days when it comes to releasing truly wireless earphones, it is just strange. Because here in my hands I have the Blitzworth FYE 2, which by the way is also the very first truly wireless that I've ever reviewed and I liked it quite a lot back then. I like it quite a lot still now. And well, on a regular basis, I also still recommend it. Just for the fact that at a price point at around 20 to 25 bucks, you still can't go wrong with it. Because it still offers good comfort, good audio quality, actually way better than I expected it, and also quite good battery life. So where is the strange part? Well, right after releasing this, they released the 4. And just like I, everyone else thought that the 4 is the successor, it's better. I can tell you, no, it's not, because it's base over base overemphasized. It has pretty much no highs and actually also worse battery life. So I don't see a good reason to go for it unless you want more base. And I've seen a lot of people actually still being happy with it. But the stranger part continues with the release right after the four with the three and the five, which already in terms of number sounds quite odd. But about those, forget the three just as much as the four because it's pretty much just as bad as that one, but with a bit of bigger case and worse comfort. But the five is something different and that's the one I'm going to review today and also compare to my still current budget recommendation. But well, still might change with this one because this is not just better on paper. It is better in a lot of criteria. But there is one thing that I don't like so much about it. What that is, I'm gonna tell you later on. But for now, let's check the size of the cases and you can see that definitely the five got noticeably smaller and also the quality of the case got better. Because where the two still is a little bit flimsy, has no battery charge status, the contact didn't really work that well, feels good enough, I would say, the five got more solid. It's a little bit hard to open, but the contacts work right now, still no proper charge status LED and they both use micro USB, but it is the nicer case after all. Let's put those aside and talk about the actual earphones. And you will see one thing, yes, that the five got smaller. It got also better in terms of build quality. It feels just a little bit nicer. It still has though, just like the two, the LED that blinks quite often, which might be annoying for some people, but both also still boast the proper button, even though they actually changed the way they work right now. Because where on the two, a long press was to skip the tracks and the double tap was to go for the assistant. It's just the other way around. So double press now is for the skipping of the tracks and the voice assistant made a long press. Not sure why they did it. I actually prefer a double click, but it's fine. Still though, no volume control and still though also no better codec than SBC, which means you will get a little bit of a delay. I don't think it's a huge issue if you watch videos on a longer term then it will get a little bit more out of sync and it might be a little bit annoying. But if you just watch a video from time to time, it's not that bad. But I would say right after you have AAC, then you are fine. Anything below that will come just with a few issues. But that's about that. Mono mode is also on the right one, still the master, even though they actually changed the position of the microphone because on the five, it's on the right side, where on the two, it's on the left side. Quality wise though, I know a lot of people have been asking about that. I haven't included the microphone quality yet in reviews, but I did che check a few and I have to sell, tell you this, that none of them is anything close to what I would call good. They are all pretty bad. The two has a little bit of some static, but otherwise the same kind of dull, muffled quality. The five doesn't have the static anymore, but it's still clean on a super muffled bass, if you get what I mean. So you don't have any cut on side so sounds, but it's not that good. So if you have long conference calls or call with your headphones often, then just don't use them or maybe look for something else. But for a qu quick call here and there, it is fine. Now, I'm not still going to tell you what my issue is with the five because it's definitely not the sound that I'm going to right now. Because I would say in terms of sound stage, it is a little bit better, but that's generally the thing about the five. And that's the nice thing to see. Whatever the two already did on a good level, the five just does better. So let's check it off what the two had to offer. A mid kind of sized sound stage with solid imaging. They both have a V shape, which means a little bit more bass and a little bit more highs, which is a good thing because usually you only on kind of mainstream kind of signature headphones is more bass and not more highs, which sounds super muffled. Here, the balance is still quite good because you get enough highs, so it's never really muffled, but you get the nice bass that everyone wants to. And there is no sibilance or anything like that in terms of volume. 
the 5 is a little bit louder than the 2. The 2 I would say is just about as loud as I would need it to, but not anymore. In terms of connection, both were stable, I had no issues when they quickly connect. That brings me to the actual quality of those sounds. The bass is better here. It's just got a little bit more precise, a little bit more deep, a little bit... I can't really say it on a way better because the sound signal to general is very, very similar. Same goes for the mids and same goes for the highs. Highs just got a little bit cleaner, a little bit more clarity there. It's not a huge difference. It's something that you notice while testing them side by side, but you can hear it, which means you can also hear pretty much everything just like on the two. So it's a great all rounder. It can do everything, but it doesn't really stand out in anything. Bass heavy music works just as metal and also classical music, which, yeah. It's just a thing that you have to keep the price in mind, which actually already leads me to the competition. Like I said, forget the three and the four. Now, what others are there? There are other ones like, for example, Soundcore, the Anchor Liberty Lite. More expensive though, like twice the price. For a similar price, you can get the Lenovo, the Air, which I think sound about as good as these, have volume control have pretty much the same feature set, but also the same issue that I have with this one, which I'll get into in a la second later. So in a second later, yeah. So those are pretty much on par. And then I don't really have anything else that I could think of. There are some that I've reviewed. If you want to get a little bit higher and get the definitely better overall package, then let me check that if I can find it. You have, no, yes. The Sabbath, the Sabbath E12. You can see them here. I reviewed those. I like those quite a lot for a few reasons. Great battery life, little bit better sound, AAC. And I know I said something else in my review, but there is no delay. My my phone adjusted issues, so also better comfort. So it costs also a little bit more, but that is still my like a little bit around fifty dollar recommendation. Where the sound called Liberty. Air, so the better sound course is my, yeah, my absolute favorite generally. But these, where do they sit right now? Well, let's summarize this real quick. Good comfort, good audio quality, good controls, solid case, well downsides, still SBC, and now the biggest issue. That's the one thing that I didn't even talk about yet, battery life. The two claim to have a battery life of two and a half hours. The five, two and a half to three hours. And I can't replicate the one on the four, on the two, because here I get about solid four hours. And this week, actually, I even reconfirmed it by testing it again, again, I like three hours and 50 and four hours. So I get more than I get with the same volume on the fives. It's a little bit hard with all those numbers. Now, what do, what do those deliver? two and a half to maybe two hours and 40. Now I'm gonna just say it like this. If you don't care so much about the battery life, the five is the better deal because generally the better case, a little bit better comfort, better sound, a little bit, and the control works a little bit, maybe more convenient. But you have to know if that's worth it for you losing about one hour and 20 of battery life. For me, it's not, and that's why the two even though they don't look as nice, don't sound quite as nice, aren't quite as loud, they just hold up longer. Because that hour and 20 might be crucial. If you think one hour and 20, that doesn't really bother me, then I don't really see a reason not to go for this. And that, at that price point, then like I said, the only competition close to it would be the Lenovo no, no, Air that costs roughly about the same, a little bit more maybe, but yeah, also have just two and a half hours. I, I definitely prefer the smaller and better comfort here though. So, yeah. That's that. I hope this was helpful. If it was. If it wasn't. And bye.